Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. My name is Sunny Cardona, and this is the stream where I talk about trending topics. I'm going to try to give you some of the best daily news out here that I can here on this stream. So again, please subscribe. What are you waiting for? Click and hit that bell to get the latest video notifications. You definitely don't want to miss a video that I produce here. So here we go. One of the top trending topics um, that just recently happened. Larry King. Larry King, the guy who worked for CNN for over 25 years, has now passed away. Again, this was a, a talk show that he did for over 25 years, talking to politicians, actors, actors, athletes, and all of these things. And let's look and see how he passed All right here. Talk show host Larry King dies at the age of 87 at LA Hospital just three weeks after being transferred from the ICU as he battled COVID. So it was the C-19. Basically, they're saying probably took him out. He caught the COVID after catching it from a healthcare worker visit from his home. And so there it is, Larry King, the TV and radio host extraordinaire. What made him extraordinary, right? Whatever. We all know with his channel, CNN, is all about the fake. You number fake. You fake news. Fake everything fake. Right? Yeah, everything's just fake. But anyway, again, Larry King, uh, you know, died at the age of 87, the C-19. His production company, Aura Media, confirmed his death in a statement on social media on Saturday. No cause of death was given. However, it comes weeks after King was hospitalized with the coronavirus. He reportedly was transferred out from the intensive care units on January 4th, but had remained in the hospital. And I kind of had a feeling that this guy uh, probably wasn't going to last too long. You know, again, he was 87. He didn't live a long life. But again, it is what it is. No cause now has been given. However, it comes weeks after King was hospitalized. He was reportedly transferred to the hospital, blah, blah, blah. King uh, conducted over 50,000 high-profile interviews uh, with presidents, world leaders, Hollywood loyals, uh, royalties, sports stars, you name it, right? Anybody that is connected to the system. Hmm. Um, so yeah, he was doing that for a very long time in his 65 years long career as a TV and radio host. He started back in 1957 as a 22-year-old radio disc jockey in Miami Beach with no experience or college education. The legendary host suffered a massive career setback in 1971 as he was arrested on charges of grand larceny. It was a uh, revenge from a former friend for not agreeing to bribe President Nixon on his behalf. Man, this guy was deep into this, right? King has been married eight times. The guy was getting around, again, eight times to seven different women. Uh, he married his uh, most recent wife, Shauna Southwick, while he was on, uh, you know, he was hospitalized undergoing heart surgery back in 1997. They separated just recently in 2019. He recently mourned the loss of his two, two of his adult children in August 2020 who died from different diseases within one week of each other. Hmm. Now, guys, you know, again, this is not the truth ever sleeps, and I can talk about the stuff, but nothing happens by accidents. Many of these people signed a, you know, a contract. You know what I mean with the ill ones. I'll just say that. I have to be careful what I say here on the stream, but it is what it is, and there it is. And, guys, you know, hey, what else is there? The guy... You know, we know what he was connected to and what he was a part of. Married eight times, right? Uh, Al, you know, it's his third wife married twice there. Um, pictured above, seventh wife, so, so, and so on. There he is with the mask, make sure, right? Uh, the Peabody Award for broadcasting, among others, with presidents. Again, guys, you don't get to talk to these presidents, to these uh, celebrities, these royals, these kings, these queens, unless you're not, you know... A, you know, chosen by them. Always remember that. So anyway, there you go, guys. Just a little bit there. Larry King dies 
uh, you know, uh, sadly or whatever, whatever your take is, I have to be careful what I say here uh, this Saturday, so forth and so on. And uh, yeah, there it is, January 23rd, with profound sadness and oral media announces the death of our founder host, friend Larry King, who passed away this morning at the age of 87 at Cedar Side Night. Man, there, the stars always die there. Hmm. Wonder what's in the basement. Uh, but anyway, for 63 years, radio and so forth and so on, everything I read here. So there you go, guys. Uh, you know, live life to its fullest. Uh, you know, you never know when you're going to go. There he is, Brooklyn, 1951. Wait, he's from Larry King Pitchard in his senior yearbook. Uh, Lafayette High School, Brooklyn, 1951. But then he's in Miami, hmm, right? Well, anyway, there you go. Larry King is pitched to his son, Cannon, and Chance. King believed to have caught the virus from a healthcare worker. And all the other, you know, selly sellies are there. And it is what it is. Playboy Mansions, all of these things here. And it is what it is. But there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoy my very first uh, video on my phone. And I hope you guys are having a great day. This is the brand new stream. Remember to uh, subscribe and click and hit that bell. I hope everyone's having a good morning, a good day. And remember that we're only here for so long. So enjoy, uh, you know, every moment that we have here, right? So anyway, take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.